This is a very hard and troubling truth that the gospel is preached in the world today, beloved. It's preached. But not everyone who sits under the sound of it is God's. The gospel is washing over nations, beloved. And even the sound of it is pleasant to the unbeliever. There's something exciting about it. There's something freeing about it. There's something joyful about it. And the unbeliever even at times enjoys the sound of the gospel. But if the type matches the reality, then we must say that the same thing is true about the gospel. Most who hear it, they don't live. Why? What made a difference between the people who drank the water and lived and trusted God and were really His and the people that drank the water but didn't? What made the difference? It's the same thing that makes the difference today between everyone who hears the gospel, who drinks of it, between those who live and those who don't. Verses 21 and 22, right in our psalm, we have the answer. When the people grumbled, Therefore, when the Lord heard, He was full of wrath. A fire was kindled against Jacob. His anger rose against Israel. Why? Because they did not believe in God. Now, what does that even mean, to believe in God? Let's read the next line. And did not trust His saving power. That's it. That's the difference maker. Do you trust God's saving power? Or do you not think that He's strong enough? Or do you think that you're strong enough? Do you think that you can taste of the gospel, but it's really you? You know, I drank it, and, and I'm going to be okay. The difference maker is always this, faith. Those who didn't trust God's saving power, they drank for a time, but they died, and they went into judgment. The same is true of the gospel. As it washes over you, my friends, is it mixed with faith? Do you trust the saving God? That's all He wants you to do is trust His saving power. That's what He wants. For you to let go and be the saved. And for Him to be the Savior. That's it. Drink the water because He gave it to you and receive it. That's it. That's the difference maker, beloved. But perish the thought that we would think just because we sit under the Gospel... Just because we hear about Christ, even every week, that we're good. We can't say that, beloved. We must trust Christ for ourselves. 